Hey everybody, welcome to Chem. We're gonna do an example problem using the ideal gas law formula to solve for moles. It says a 55 liter container at 35 degrees Celsius has a pressure of 0.69 ATM. How many moles of gas are in the container? First thing you wanna do is get rid of those degrees Celsius. Um, you can't use them in the formula and if you do, you're just gonna get it wrong right away. What we have to do is convert it to Kelvin, and that formula is Kelvin equals Celsius or degree Celsius plus 273. So you just plug in that 35 degrees Celsius plus 273, and that's going to get you 308 Kelvin. As always, I like to write my units out just to know what I have and what I'm solving for. So we've got P, B, N, R, T. So uh, it says it's a 55 liter container, liters is volume. 35 degrees Celsius, we changed into 308 Kelvin, and that is temperature. Uh, 0.69 atm, or atmospheres, that's pressure. It's asking how many moles, so that's what we're solving for, our n value is moles. R is the gas constant, um, and you want to use the one that uses atmospheres for its units, and that number is 0 0.0821 liters times ATM over moles times Kelvin. We want to write out our formula, so it's PV equals NRT, and then we have to sub in everything we have. So Pressure is 0 0.69 atm. Volume is 55 liters equals n, which is what we are trying to find. Our r value is 0 0.0821 liters times atmospheres over moles times Kelvin. And then our temperature is 308 Kelvin. I always like to clean up the numbers as much as I can. So I'm not plugging too many into my calculator at the same time. Uh, it's just less of a chance of a mistake. So I'm gonna multiply 0 0.69 times 55, and that comes to 37.95, and I wanna pull my units down. So ATM times liters equals my N value. I'm gonna highlight it so I can focus on not losing it. And then 0 0.0821 times 308 Kelvin is going to get me 25.287. And when you multiply two things together, uh, you're going to lose these units, the Kelvin units, but I still have the remainder. So liters times atmospheres over moles. I want to get that N value by itself, so I have to divide each side by 25.287 in all the units. So 25.287 liters times atmospheres over moles. And then again, 25.287 liters times atmospheres over moles. Anytime you divide something by itself, it cancels. So this is canceled. And then on the other side here, we're gonna lose some units. We're losing liters and atmospheres. And we're left with moles, and that makes sense because that is what you are solving for. So when you take 37.95 divided by 25.287, you're going to get 1.501 moles, and that's equal to your n value.